So Jay, let's uh, follow me. We'll go over here by the gate and check out the gooseneck, bro. Just gonna move around a, a couple things so we can get a good look at the gooseneck, bro. Here, park this last trailer here. I'll show you the uh, our gooseneck row. We have about 20, 22 to 24 trailer gooseneck trailers in stock. This this first one happens to be a uh, my favorite one on the lot. This is the PJH series, so it's a low profile uh, with fenders with drive over fenders. This comes with 8K axles, or they have a model with 10K axles as well, which which uh, a guy from Iowa has come to pick up today. So that's a single wheel configuration there. Now, uh, then we'll move into, we have our single axle deck over uh, gooseneck, so 14 or 16K, seven or eight K axles uh, for a lighter load, but you still get the 102 wide deck. So tractors that are, uh, you know, you can't put on a trailer with fenders. So then uh, we always do some nice upgrades with ours, 12 inch on center cross members on everything we stock, um, primer plus, powder coat in gray, black, red, uh, mainly. Uh, always comes with a spare tire and rim. Nice big uh, lockable toolbox in between the gooseneck uprights. We always like, as I talked about yesterday with the uh, form following function, I like to include form in it too. So we have a nice, cool, tough looking one with uh, gray with black rims and then a nice red one for some of the businesses out there that have red for their uh, business colors. We always put a cold weather wire harness on these. Uh, then we get into our uh, tandem duels. So we have uh, two 10,000 pound tandem dual axles, a bunch of uh, ramp configurations. So most of the time we put monster ramps on them. Um, there is a uh, hydraulic beaver tail uh, configuration that the whole beaver tail drops. It's a 10 foot beaver tail. So it has a pump and battery on board that you have to maintain. There's a handful of them that we like to put hydraulic jacks on as well. I, I uh, put these together. I put these together for about uh, six years out on the lot by myself when they'd come in on the semi load. Oh man, would I wish that all of them had hydraulic jacks. There's a lot of cranking involved in those six years. So, um, and then that one, the last one you saw there has a deck over the neck. PJ's making those all removable now. As you can see, it's, uh, it's eight and a half wide, it has stake pockets and rub rail and uh, the pins keep it in there and in, in, uh, keep it locked in for when you're hauling and then if you don't need it, you can take it off. Then they mount that spare on the very front of the goose. And then we're getting up to our, uh, our 12,000 pound tandem duels. Um, so obviously you can haul, haul more weight. Uh, again, we put, uh, we like to put the uh, two Jost heavy duty semi style jacks on there. Those are two speed. They're a lot heavier duty because when you get into a 12,000 pound axle, most of the time you're looking at a longer trailer. Um, they're plenty of weight and the two speed function I prefer over the Bulldog two speed function. Again, we always put 12,000 pound axles on it. That has an IB mainframe construction. PJ is going to an all low profile build, which means the cross members are piercing the I beam. So on the top of the deck there, you see the I-beam, the top of the I-beam flush with the boards, and then it'll be steel tread plate over the wheels. And we also like to go to a, a, a electric drum brakes go standard here, but a lot of times we like to upgrade. People are really catching on to the electric or hydraulic disc brake function option. That is uh, obviously more money, but it's gonna it's a it's a small investment or it's a reasonable investment ahead of time. It's gonna save you labor costs down the road and give you more brake power. It's a lot quicker to work on electric over hydraulic disc brakes than it is to work on drum brakes. You gotta clean those drums out. It's, it's labor intensive, it takes a lot of time. There's another function here on this one, this particular trail is a hy hydraulic beaver tail. It's the new power tail from PJ. And uh, we do have this demonstrated on our YouTube page. If you wanna go there and check it out, it's broken down into four, four short videos. So the power tail is a big single sweeping beaver tail over the back of the trailer. And it's, it's like the monster ramps, but it's a one piece deal, uh, no lifting. You can run it up or flipped over all the way down and you can haul back there. 
on the on the uh, hydraulic beaver tail flat, the 10 foot beaver tail on the flatbed. Let's see on the LY models, uh, you're not supposed to haul on the last the last six feet. But with the power tail and the monster ramps, you get a five foot beaver tail with the flip over monster ramps or power tail, and uh, you can haul back there all the way to the tail. Then we have one in stock. We have a deck over tilt. So uh, this is a pretty interesting one. We don't stock too many of them, but uh, the, it's a 24 foot tilt plus, uh, I think that looks like a six or eight foot stationary. I think it's an eight foot stationary here. So it tilts up um, for easy hauling of, you know, whatever it might be. Uh, there's a hydraulic unit on in the toolbox down below. Uh, I can't remember off the top of my head what the load angle is, but um, you can look that up if you need that information. And then with these come in various lengths, you know, typically we go up to 30 feet in 10,000 pound axles, and then maybe we'll stock a 30 footer with 10s and 12s, but then anything above 30 feet, we do 12s. Um, that's generally, that meets most people's needs. Uh, as far as other options, as you can see on this particular hydraulic beaver tail, uh, we have the Blackwood, full Blackwood uh, Pro option. You see the rubber over the wood, gives you a little bit more traction, and then we do the traction bars on the tail. A lot of times when that steel tread plate is wet, um, you know, you're starting your tractor up there, maybe four-wheel drive tractor or skid steer, and uh, it's wet, the tires slip right there at the start, so that those traction bars come in, come in handy. And then this one over here is not in the row. It's a 40-foot beaver tail, or I'm sorry, a 40-foot hot shot tailor. Um, maybe we're getting more and more, more and more uh, familiar with this term hot shot trailer. They usually, these are guys hauling stuff all over the country in various types of loads, whether it's vehicles, trucks, uh, big trucks, tractors, uh, sensitive material that has to be, have air ride on it. Um, but any number of loads. So the 40 foot allows you to haul long stuff, short stuff. Um, and then there's some state laws that require certain permits if you go over 40 feet. So again, this, this particular one is a, is a pretty modestly equipped one uh, in terms of nothing hydraulic on it. This is, just has the electric drum brakes, the monster ramps, which is the most popular option. And then the, the winch plate in between the gooseneck uprights and then the heavy duty Jost jacks. So again, form following function. I like to throw a little form in there with the black Primer Plus powder coat and the, the black rims. So um, this is uh, becoming more popular. We do happen to have uh, four or five more of these coming in stock uh, here in the next couple weeks. And those will be equipped in various, with various configurations, including a, a four foot, or a, slide track ratchets every four foot um, and the tie down flat on the opposite side um, and a couple different ramp configurations as well like the hydraulic beaver tailor monster ramps and then finally we'll stop at this uh this is another 40 foot maybe a hot shot style trailer but this is a low profile with three seven thousand pound axles and electric drum brakes on each um, this is uh, more of a car hauler style. So maybe, depending on the length of the cars, this has a four foot dovetail with slide in ramps. So it's a nice gradual load angle. It's an eight inch I-beam, or I'm sorry, eight inch channel uh, gooseneck trailer. And then, depending on, again, how long the cars are, you could potentially get three cars on here, uh, but two long ones at least. And then there's a winch plate up here in the, between the gooseneck uprights. That four foot dovetail, the slide in ramps slide right out the back and hang on that flat piece of flat stock back there. And then of course, it's nice to have on a long trailer like this, the uh, stabilizer jacks on the rear, just to support the tail end. So again, this is a 40 foot C8 model, uh, which would be a car slash equipment trailer. And again, it's got the big, the big deep uh, toolbox in between the uprights, three 7,000 pound axles with brakes and a matching spare tire and rim, along with the primer and powder coat option that we like to put on all these. The 
yeah, that's our goose neck row. Again, we have about 22, 24, 25 in stock. Um, and I really ran through that pretty quick. Uh, there's a ton of options with these trailers. I tried to hit the general ones that we carry, but uh, we're always custom ordering these for people in special, special configurations, 10, 12, 15,000 pound axles, electric over hydraulic drum brakes, disc brakes, or the regular drum brakes. There's also air ride available. There's also an air lift axle available. Um, uh, half a dozen colors are available. Obviously, some of the colors are a little bit more money than the other ones. But um, uh, we, we uh, you know, the, the PJ Gooseneck trailer is as good a Gooseneck trailer as any of them made. And uh, we have a lot of confidence in them. And uh, they're good people to work with as well. They give us good service. That allows us to give our customers good service. So. Um, Variety of things, you know, car haulers, material hauling, tractor hauling, construction equipment hauling, and uh, obviously you have to have a gooseneck, gooseneck hitch set up in your truck, which uh, we do install here at Night Equipment. Phone number 815-239-9096. You can see all of our inventory live, live inventory at nightequip.com.